welcome or welcome back to Maya's glow thank you so much for coming over to this space so today as you can see we're actually just going to be filming a little get ready with me i'm actually heading out to the supermarket for a grocery run and i thought i'd just give you guys a little life update of what's been going on um if you follow me on instagram then you know i definitely updated you guys a bit but if you don't please Please go ahead and connect with me on there I'd really appreciate it and yeah you can keep up to date with me much better on there because I tend to post more on my Instagram and my Facebook page than my YouTube but all in all I basically just shared the fact that February was not really the best month for me and so I just wasn't as motivated to keep creating but here we are, I'm back and I'm just excited to keep you guys up to date as we get ready. I'm actually doing a very simple makeup look and I've actually shared this entire makeup look with you guys on my mask friendly um, makeup routine video. I'm going to link that for you guys in the description box so you can check it out. All the information is there. It's a complete tutorial. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. I really want to go into the products and stuff that I'm using because I just want us to, you know, sit down, chat, have a cup of tea. I'm actually having some hibiscus tea. It's mid afternoon um early afternoon i think it's about 12 o'clock no it's actually one o'clock now wow time moves so fast yeah but i'm just having some hibiscus tea as i get ready and then i can head out so i really hope you guys have been doing well that you've been keeping safe because we're still not in the clear I just find it so amazing that some countries have almost completely eliminated any, you know, cases that might exist. I can't wait for us to get there. I don't know how long it will take, but for now, just, you know, keep doing what you need to do. Wash your hands with soap and water, sanitize, wear your mask when you can, and yeah. Just keep taking good care of yourself because if you actually take good care of yourself, you're also taking care of the people around you in one way or another. So February, oh my gosh, you guys, like <laughs> last month, whew, I think there was even a mercury retrograde when all these things were going wrong because i was just like what is happening so first things first i'm actually filming on my webcam today my laptop webcam <laughs> and it's because like i shared with you guys i think on my first video of this year that my camera stopped working luckily it was an issue that was fixable it took about a month for me to you know finally be able to actually take it to be fixed and it took about two weeks for it to be fixed so it's in good condition however unfortunately the battery of my camera is completely finished its time has come so even if my camera is in perfect condition now after it's been fixed I can't use it because the battery is not working I was just so frustrated and just wondering like what is happening like I really want to create I really want to put out content but it's just like things are just clearly not working out and then at the same time I started a new series this year called candid conversations we'll actually be having like guests on either my IGTV or even a recorded um, conversation that I just wanted to, you know, share with you guys so I can learn from my guest, you guys can learn from my guest as well and it can just be a fun way of um, us interacting together and me looping in someone else in the process. So I did host one in January 
with skin by aj i'm going to link that for you guys in the description box as well and then i did host another one in february with um men of glory <laughs> chika okereke i was trying to think of her instagram name and we had such a wonderful conversation about hair care and her brand amarachi naturals but unfortunately my instagram app crashed right in the middle of the live so what happened is i noticed i couldn't like scroll and read through your comments and then the timer had completely stopped but luckily i was still able to continue the conversation so chica was such a, an amazing and gracious guest she actually read out the comments for me however towards the end i wasn't able to save um the live video so it just crashed and i was just so frustrated because i tried and tried to see if there's a way to retrieve the live i reached out to instagram several times for assistance but i still didn't get any response and i just felt so bad because one my guest had you know taken her precious time to have this conversation with me and for me the best way i can give back to my guests is you know to just make sure that i save the content i market it as much as i can so that other people can see it and so that they can also gain a form of visibility so unfortunately i wasn't able to save it and also for me it was um a form of content that i wanted to re-upload onto my youtube channel and it was also going to be uploaded onto my igtv so when that didn't happen i just remember feeling so angry and frustrated and i was just wondering like i'm just trying to create but things are just not working out at all and that really discouraged me especially um from mid-february and i was just not feeling as motivated to create because the things that i need to create were having issues and then my laptop <laughs> so actually something about my phone and my laptop i've had my laptop for eight years and i've had my phone for four years and one of the reasons i think my instagram app crashed is because i've noticed with phones they tend to have like a certain lifespan i'd say like three to five years where you know the software starts acting up or something is just not working as well as it should maybe it's like a sign that you should buy a new phone i don't know but phones don't really have that long of a lifespan you know compared to like a laptop or a tv so i think one of the reasons why my instagram app crashed is because i'm updating the app but my phone is a bit outdated so i think there are some updates that my phone isn't really able to manage <laughs> because it is an older um, model and so i've been having issues with it um, even when I'm scrolling, it will kind of like freeze um, or posting stories. Like I've been having issues posting Instagram stories because of that. And also my phone does not have the best storage at all. It, it has very, very low phone storage. And even if I manage to get an SD card, for some reason, some apps can't transfer onto the SD card like whatsapp which takes up a lot of space luckily i've been able to move instagram onto my sd card because i think it's the app that takes the most space but because of also storage issues i've noticed it's been you know a challenge for me to actually do the things that i need to do as a creator and of course you know instagram is really important for me it's a platform that um I use to share my content and engage with my audience so it's been quite a challenge as well so I think all these things 
have really discouraged me as well as like I was saying my laptop so I do use my laptop to edit my videos and because the microprocessor is outdated yeah I got it in 2013 so that's a while back if you edit or if you're a content creator or if you're just someone who uses any kind of editing software you know how much it demands from your pc either in terms of the microprocessor and storage so at least i've been able to manage storage i always try and clear away as much stuff as i can but my microprocessor is really struggling so even editing a simple video can take three times the amount of time because my microprocessor is so outdated and the editing software is demanding so much from it I constantly have to restart um, the editing program it hangs sometimes it can even hang for a really long time before I can be able to do anything on there um, sometimes it crashes suddenly so usually when I edit I make sure I save after after each and every little change that I make so that at least I don't lose my work but um, yeah it's just been really frustrating and you know i guess it's a sign <laughs> that i need to replace my devices but obviously it's also something frustrating to think about financially because um at the moment i'm not just able to replace all these devices at one go so yeah that's where things are at i do hope to be able to purchase um at least my camera battery soon so that i can move forward with that at least if i have my camera back and then i can just figure out the other stuff but yeah that's my little update it was really discouraging especially when the live golden save i just felt so embarrassed for myself and my guests like oh my god it was not cute and yeah i just felt very demotivated so i've finished applying my foundation and my concealer as well so i'm just going to set my base and then i'll be right back so the base is down whenever my base is like done i feel like i'm done with 70 percent of my makeup because that's where i spend most of my time so now i'm just going to go in and add in a bit of dimension to my crease and also to contour my nose i'm really grateful to like my friends who've just really been encouraging me and just you know letting me know that all is well keep going and also just me taking the time to um realize that these things happen setbacks happen and it's okay recognize them take time to grieve or be angry or be frustrated and then when i'm ready i can get on with the show i really love just taking time to film and just that feeling of watching a video after i've uploaded it like once it's uploaded and i go on youtube and i just see the videos up or whenever i upload a photo or a video on my instagram i feel so accomplished so yeah um i definitely feel like i'm back on the right track and i'm a bit more motivated to keep going and as much as february came with its setbacks oh my gosh i received such amazing news which i can't wait to share with you um i can't share it with you right now but once i'm able to i will <laughs> so please make sure you follow me on my instagram and again feel free to reach out and ask me any questions that you have and yeah definitely love to hear from you guys and know what more you'd want to see from me even just comment down below and say hi let me know if any of the products that i've ever talked about have actually helped you and you know have actually added on to a positive beauty experience or even a negative one so that i know which products um i can 
check in on them again especially if some of you are saying they don't really work for you or you had a reaction etc so yeah i just want to hear from you because at the end of the day it's not just about me giving you content and just being like here here you go <laughs> no i actually want to hear from you guys and know how you're doing um and yeah just know what more you'd love to see from me and yeah let's engage so i think i'm now going to finish up with my brows and then um when i go back to my face to apply my bronzer and my lips as well i'm going to come back so let's bronze and I normally just like using a huge brush. Well, not that big, but a semi huge brush and just sweeping it across my cheek area and also on my temples as well. And then for my lips, I'm just going to be using this Nivea lip balm. Whenever the weather is like nice and beautiful and hot like this, I do like to wear glosses, but since we're going to be wearing a mask, I'm just going to put on some lip balm and that's it. So that's it, you guys. Really quick and simple. Again, I'm going to link for you guys the actual tutorial so you guys can watch it step by step. And I'm just going to mist my face. with some rose water and that's it so thank you so much for sticking around for this little life update and yeah i definitely look forward to seeing more of you on here and on my instagram as well and on my other platforms as well so do check the description box for a link to all my other platforms and i just want to say thank you so much to all the love you guys have been giving me on my instagram and on my youtube as well and a huge welcome to all my new followers thank you so much for coming over to this space i hope you stick around and we can get to know each other a bit better so this is the final look so i just tied my hair behind and i left out these little cute curly pieces outside i really like this look and my hair was actually done by an amazing lady called helen this is actually crochet you guys all of it is crochet so i'm going to share with you guys her phone number in the description box if you want to get your hair done the hair is mambo curl by darling so it comes in like a pack of you know the twist already ready to be crocheted so yeah i'm going to share that information with you guys in the description box as well but this is it i want to head out to the grocery store slash supermarket right now and i can't wait to catch up with you guys soon